Even before Lockheed Martin's hypersonic SR-72 aircraft can see the light of day, Hermes's hypersonic quarter horse jet might be the jet of the future. The quarter horse has formed new standards, and the U.S. Air Force is quite impressed with this innovation. Thus, a $60 million contract for flight testing of the quarter horse has been awarded to a startup business. Welcome back to Future Warplanes, your go-to source for warplane information. Quick reminder, subscribing is free. Linking the video helps YouTube suggest similar videos. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. The U.S. Air Force has awarded a huge contract to a startup company that specializes in high-speed aviation for the creation of reusable hypersonic aircraft. If successful, this project might pave the way for much faster air travel for the general public. It went on to say that the hypersonic technology it is developing has dual use and is appropriate for both civilian and military applications. Who are Hermius? Hermius is a venture-backed firm with a long-term goal of revolutionizing the worldwide human transportation network using Mach 5 aircraft. At a speed of Mach 5, travel is no longer just supersonic, it is hypersonic. At these speeds, which are more than 3,000 kilometers per hour, the travel duration from New York City to London will be shortened to only 90 minutes, down from the current length of 7 hours. Mach 5 aircraft have the potential to generate an extra $4 trillion of global economic growth per year, which would free up considerable resources that could be used to address some of the most pressing issues that the world is now facing. What exactly is Quarter Horse? After being granted a contract for $60 million by the U.S. Air Force, hypersonic aircraft company Hermes will begin flight testing its first aircraft in 2019, which will be given the name Quarter Horse. During the event that took place in 2021, the business presented its first prototype of the Quarter Horse aircraft. Hermes was in charge of testing the engine of the aircraft. Hermes said the previous year that it planned to begin flight testing of the Quarter Horse by the end of 2022. However, the company announced on Thursday that it is now on schedule to fly in 2023. The Quarter Horse is based on the turbine-based combine cycle engine, which combines a supersonic turbojet engine with a scramjet, which is simply a supersonic combustion ramjet engine. It is presumed that the Quarter Horse will be capable of traveling at Mach 5 speeds, which are five times the speed of sound in a single burst. Because of its engine configuration, the Quarter Horse would be able to operate impressively at any speed, whether it, the comparatively slow commercial airline speeds of today, or at hypersonic speeds that would leave even combat planes in the dust. It will be able to do so with ease. The business has plans to construct a series of self-driving, high-speed aircraft, and Quarter Horse is the first of such aircraft. According to a news release, Hermes received the award in July from the Presidential and Executive Airlift Directorate of the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center and the Air Force Research Laboratory. With the money from the grant, researchers will improve their knowledge of enabling technologies and mission capabilities for reusable hypersonic aircraft. The Air Force wants Hermes to find out what a hypersonic jet can achieve for the military. Another objective is to develop and test a hypersonic propulsion system, followed by the production and assessment of three iterations of Hermes's Quarter Horse aircraft design. According to the manufacturer, Quarter Horse can reach Mach 5 and is completely autonomous or remotely controlled. The SR-71 Blackbird is the jet aircraft that presently holds the record for the fastest speed ever achieved by a jet aircraft, at a speed of 2,193 miles per hour. If all goes according to plan, Quarter Horse will be able to reach speeds of around 3,836 kilometers per hour. That is quick enough to go from New York to Paris in about one hour and 10 minutes. One of the most important parts of the project is Hermes's creation of a combined cycle turbine engine. Combined cycle engines operate at lower speeds than normal turbine engines, which power jet fighters and passenger planes. When traveling at high speeds, the engine functions similarly to a ramjet in that it pushes larger amounts of air into the engine chamber, so producing a significant increase in thrust. Both conventional turbine engines and ramjet engines are unable to provide enough thrust for an aircraft to reach hypersonic speeds, and traditional turbine engines cannot function at lesser speeds. In the past, this has led to the development of concepts for hypersonic aircraft that made use of two distinct engines, which is a technique that is inefficient and wasteful. A combined cycle engine, on the other hand, is able to fulfill both of these requirements and it continues to provide the aircraft with thrust even while it is in the air. Who is funding this project? A $60 million investment in mid-August 2021 will allow the firm to completely develop their project's testing. A new engine is one of the aims of the deal with the U.S. Air Force. The new quarter horse jet, which will be powered by a GE J85 turbojet engine, will be the first to get certification for a combined cycle turbine engine. 
The Air Force has stated that it is providing funding to Quarter Horse in order to accelerate the commercial development of hypersonic aircraft and propulsion systems. This indicates that you may one day benefit from the contract, which would allow you to hop on a hypersonic plane and arrive at your vacation destination in record time. On the other hand, there is some evidence to suggest that the service also has potential military purposes in mind. For example, the Air Force wants Hermes to enable payload integration for future flight testing with Quarter Horse. But important issue is, what type of cargo does it seem that Hermes is carrying? People? Cargo? Sensors? Putting in pods? Missiles? Bombs? Hermes is successful in securing $100 million for hypersonic research and development. Hermes, a startup company that develops hypersonic aircraft, is seeing its ideas continue to take root, and it just secured a $100 million Series B investment round that will be used to finish the quarter horse aircraft. The grant was awarded as a result of agreements with the U.S. Air Force and NASA on research pertaining to the development of hypersonic aircraft. The newest round of fundraising, led by entrepreneur Sam Altman, included new investors Founders Fund and InQtel, a strategic investor to U.S. intelligence agencies and its allies, as well as backing from current investors Kozla Ventures, Canon Partners, Bling Capital, and Revolution's Rise of the Rest. Hermia said that the money would give resources for flying operations and allow the business to scale up development on its next aircraft, which is called Dark Horse. This is in addition to the completion of Quarter Horse, which is the primary objective. The business intends to proceed with the development of a commercial aircraft called Halicon by using the knowledge gained from the uncrewed hypersonic Dark Horse. The Quarter Horse is a sprinter, and it is basically the smallest feasible airframe for flight testing our engine, Chimera, across all modes of operation and Mach numbers. The Dark Horse will have the ability to maintain hypersonic flight for extended periods of time and will be able to transport cargo as well as payload. When can we expect to witness a hypersonic flight? As long as Hermes has the resources and support it needs, the first test of a small autonomous aircraft will take place in 2023. After this, in 2025, there will be an increase in the production of medium-sized autonomous aircraft for the delivery of cargo. In 2029, we will finally see the first passenger-carrying commercial aeroplane. Although the cost of a trip on this private plane has not yet been disclosed, it is expected to be in the thousands of euros. Hypersonic airplanes or aircraft that can fly faster than sound are the next big thing in space and military aerospace research throughout the world. The future of military operations will also benefit from hypersonic assault vehicles, which can carry out offensive missions with exceptional surprise due to their great speed. Hermes is pursuing an ambitious goal that seems to be unattainable at first look, but it is supported by an engineering culture and a business roadmap that can make it a reality. Hermes has begun to grow its operations over the course of the previous year by constructing a 110,000-foot square foot plant in Atlanta, creating a test facility, completing more than 100 engine tests, manufacturing a prototype of quarter horse, and more than tripling the size of its workforce. That concludes today's video. We sincerely hope you have found the video entertaining. Please leave any questions or comments below. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more of our amazing videos.